We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has found that student debt can impair your cardiovascular health into middle age. The lecture theatre hums its tune. A thousand nascent dreams groping for space between the dog-eared texts of lessons learnt and lapsed. Knowledge marked in double entry as loans extend like unchecked books, seeping into thoughts that float with strings attached. A tightness of thought, wrapping barbed branches around the satisfaction of future selves. Schooling sold short against the coronary risk of rain. The freedom of education borne out to those who can afford to pay. This poem is inspired by recent research published in the American Journal of Preventative Medicine, which has found a link between student debt and cardiovascular disease amongst US adults. In the United States, of those students who take out loans to fund their university level education, The average graduates with debts of more than $30,000. As default interest rates for student loans increase, these debts are becoming more and more difficult to pay off, with less than half of borrowers having paid at least $1 towards their principal loan, i.e. the original amount borrowed, even five years into repayment. Student debt has also been shown to be a financial stressor that can affect mental health and well-being, negatively impacting sleep patterns, psychological functioning and overall life satisfaction. In this new study, researchers used data from the National Longitudinal Study of Adolescent to Adult Health, a panel study of over 20,000 adolescents who were first interviewed during the 1994 to 1995 school year, when they were between the ages of 12 and 18, and have been tracked ever since. Alongside analysing the levels of debt that these participants who had attended university have since accumulated, their cardiovascular health was also checked using the 30-year Frangingham Cardiovascular Disease or CVD risk score. These CVD risk scores consider sex, age, blood pressure, body mass index and other variables to measure the likelihood of a cardiovascular illness over the next 30 years of life. The researchers found that respondents who consistently had debt or took on debt had higher CVD risk scores than those individuals who had either never been in debt or who had paid off their debt completely. While supplemental analyses suggested that graduating from university provides health benefits even to those with student debt, these benefits were diminished relative to non-debtors. The study concludes that unless something is done to reduce the costs of going to university, the health consequences of climbing student loan debt are likely to grow. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. The lecture theatre hums its tune. A thousand nascent dreams groping for space between the dog-eared texts of lessons learnt and lapsed. Knowledge marked in double entry, as loans extend like unchecked books, seeping into thoughts that float with strings attached. A tightness of thought, wrapping barbed branches around the satisfaction of future selves, schooling sold short against the coronary risk of rain. The freedom of education borne out to those who can afford to pay.
In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading The Debt by Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Paul Lawrence Dunbar was an American poet, novelist and short story writer who was born in 1872 in Dayton, Ohio, to two formerly enslaved people from Kentucky. After starting writing poetry at the age of six, he eventually became internationally acclaimed for collections such as Majors and Minors, published in 1895, and Lyrics of Lowly Life, published in 1896. He died of tuberculosis in 1906 at the age of 33, yet despite his relatively short career, Dunbar became one of the first African-American poets to earn national distinction and acceptance and numerous schools and other places have since been named in honour of both the man and his achievements. The Debt by Paul Lawrence Dunbar This is the debt I pay, just for one riotous day, years of regret and grief, sorrow without relief. Pay it I will to the end, until the grave, my friend, gives me a true release, gives me the clasp of peace, Slight was the thing I bought, small was the debt I thought, poor was the loan at best, God, but the interest. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.